Hi everyone, this is Linda from Linda Stitchens, and we're going to talk real quickly about how do I create um, this crosshatch behind words so that you could put it on fleece or on a towel and still do your words and have it still stand out fairly nicely. Um, you could do it different shapes, but this specific one is about creating a shape that sh goes around the edges of your letters. So we're going to do, we're going to cover this in my Sonet um, Platinum. I didn't do it in Premiere Plus 2. I can do that later, but I wanted to get this one done. But learn about getting to your stitch editor and changing some properties and creating a border around letters using stitch editor. Use digitizing to create the cross hatch in an unusual shape. And we're going to talk about a little bit about the snipping tool. And snipping tool is part of Windows. So you'll need the MisoNet Platinum. But again, it can be done in the Premier Plus 2 Ultra, but you'll have to make a couple adjustments. So for the purposes of this particular video, I'm using the MySonet Platinum software. Do a blank canvas. I've got it set for the 150 by 150 do all quilters hoop, and I've got it in natural position. You can choose whatever hoop you want for this particular. I'm just doing this as a demo to show you how to create this cross hatch that's behind your letters. So I'm gonna do okay, and I'm going to go to the letter tab, I'm using Rosita 12 to 32, the word testing. I have my size set to 30 millimeters. Again, this is gonna to be totally up to you on what you wanna do here. And I'm gonna do apply. So I now have those words. I'm gonna to go to the home tab, but I, could, I can go to the home tab, I don't have to. But the thing I can do here is right now, if I try to edit my properties, if I do a right mouse button, it's going to let me do edit lettering and I can change the properties about that particular lettering. Um, I can also do fix as stitches, but I don't want to fix the stitches. I want to do this in a different spot. So you see how this works. So I'm going to do home and I can, if I do edit design here, again, it's going to bring up those letter properties and let me change some things about it. But it doesn't let me take, go to the stitch editor module. And that's where I need to go to do this. So I'm going to do a right mouse button. I'm going to do fixes stitches, but I could also do it from over here. And if I click over here, right mouse, fix as stitches. So now instead of the green boxes, I now have the white. Now they could be blue, but white is fine for what we're going to do. Now, if I click on edit design here, or if I come over here and I right mouse bit, right mouse I can do edit and stitch editor. And it's going to automatically open this up. It's automatically going to put my words in, which is what I want to do. And then I'm going to go to the border tab. And in the border tab, I'm going to pick on border embroidery. I want it fairly close and I'm going to use four millimeters because I want it fairly close. And you want to be careful. If you go much smaller, it could potentially put the little borders inside between the letters. And I don't want that. I just want it on the outside. I don't want it as a satin stitch. I'm just going to do a triple for the purposes of this, and I'm going to go create external embroidery. Very cool. So I now have this outside edge, and I'm going to go to the view tab because there's a couple of things I need to do. What I want is I actually need this border to become a picture so that I can use it to create all the rest of this. So I'm now in the view tab. I can do a couple of things. I can click on get length and I can do the measurement from here to here. And it's about 130 somewhere in there. And I'm going to just assume that anyway. I can also count my grid squares. So it's about 130 millimeters. And I've got this set for five millimeters. And I could change that to 10. I could change it to whatever I need it to. I'm now going to go and I'm going to take the grid off. So it's now gone. I'm also going to turn off my commands. Now, the commands will still be there. I just want to get rid of them for this purpose. So I've got those gone. I also need to get rid of that measurement. Right mouse makes that gone. So I only need the outside edge of this for doing what I want to do next. So I'm going to uncheck the red over here on the side. I'm going to click on the outside edge so I have no more 
box around that. So I have just this. I'm going to use what they call snipping tool. And snipping tool is something that is part of Windows. And it lets me take a piece of a window and actually make a clip art out of it. So I'm going to do new snip. I know it was already there, but just so that you see this, I'm going to do a new snip and I'm just going to click, hold and drag a box. So now I have a picture that I can use in the create or the new digitizing module. So I'm going to do copy, copy, and I'm going to just minimize that. I'm going to go to the home tab. I really don't need this, but it's okay if it's there. I'm going to just close this and it's automatically in there. I don't really need the blue, but we're going to leave it there for right now. Um, I'm going to now go into the create module to do my, um, the other part that's going to go in here. I'm going to do, go to create and I'm going to go to um, digitizing. I'm going to do load or create a background picture, do next. I'm going to paste that picture that I did a copy from the snip art and it's there. I'm going to do next. I want to get this as close in as I possibly can get it. And I'm only worried about the width. I don't care about the height for this purpose because I'm going, you'll see that when I get to this next spot, I can zoom in here to make sure that I'm right there at the edge there and I'm right there at the edge there. This is what we are going to digitize here. So I'm going to do next. I can change my hoop, but I want to do enter hoop size because I have a very specific size. Remember that 130 I told you to write down? 130. So 130 millimeters wide and I just width selected and I'm going to do finish. And now I have that at 130. Um, if you don't, if I go here and if I change my grid to five, you're going to see it's right there at the edges, just like it was before. So to do this, I'm going to go to quick create. I'm going to change my pattern fill to a crosshatch fill. I'm going to, and I going to change this. I, I don't have, actually for the first one, I'm not going to, I'm going to do a no border line and I'm going to do quick stitch. And I'm going to click on here, do OK. I have a crosshatch. I don't necessarily like those things right now. I'm going to do a right mouse and a right mouse again. And I can actually say I want it to be a diamond. It's automatically going to go like this. And I just need it to be a running stitch. Um, and I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to do OK. I'm going to go home. I'm going to, I could do duplicate, but when you do duplicate, it offsets everything. I'm going to do a copy and a paste. So it puts it right on top. And I'm going to do a right mouse button. Select that second one, properties. I'm going to change this so I have a like a, a double stitch or I could do a triple stitch around the outside edge. Um, length, mm, probably a 2.5 is probably plenty. Cross hatch, I'm going to change that. I want to change my cross hitch, hatch fill to something a little bit different. So I've got, I've gone to options and I now want it to be um, square instead because I want this to be a little bit heavier than just doing the cross hatch. I'm going to do okay. So now I have it going multiple ways. So if I want to watch this sew out it's going to sew and it's going to do that one and then it's going to sew an extra stitch around the outside edge. Okay, we got that. Now, all I have to do is close this and it's now there. Now, I need to get rid of part of this. So I'm going to go to testing. This time I'm going to the modify tab. So I'm going to go modify and I don't want this blue. I only want the other one. So I'm going to make sure the red is unchecked. I have this one selected. I'm going to do select all visible. I'm going to do delete. And now go back home and I now have this. Ah, I need to change the order of the way this stitches out. So with this film strip in my Sonet, it makes it easy. So I'm gonna click on the blue, I'm gonna slide it up. So now testing is in the 
the word testing is in the front and I can move it around just a little bit if I want to. I can do a couple of different things. Um, I want to change this. It works perfect. I like it. I Don't forget to save it and do your export and you have it. Um, you don't have to have as many cross hatches behind there, but that was just, I just threw that in there as a, an additional option. So if you want to see this sew out, we can do this real quick. Sewing out, it's going to do all the cross hatches. And there we go. It's all behind there and it's laid that fabric, the, the, um, fleece or whatever it is you were doing it on. If you were doing a monogram, if you're doing anything like that, it's perfect for that. So it's just one way to do it. It's not necessarily the only way. It's just one version and hopefully you learned something. Thanks for watching.